Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Sarai. Hello, Paola. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? It's great to see you. It's great to see you uh, once again. I am very happy that we have the opportunity to be here to join uh, to another class. Okay. So we're going to wait for your classmates to arrive. We're going to continue uh, waiting a little bit just for them to connect, okay? So here we go. How was your day? Tell me a little bit about your day. How was it? Was it good, bad, so-so? How was your day? So-so. So-so, <laughs> so, so, you say, so-so. <laughs> okay, so-so, you say. Good. Okay, so uh, today we are going to finish working on the previous topic that we were uh, doing yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about what? Do you remember? Uh -huh. Profession and occupation. Professions and occupations, right? What else were we talking about yesterday? Uh -huh. What type of questions were we studying? What do you work? Uh huh. Where do you work? What else? Where do, where do you work and how do you like it? How do you like it? Excellent. What is another thing that we did yesterday? Do you remember the adjectives that we studied? Yes, it's exciting. The adjectives. Uh -huh. The adjectives, Exciting, yes. Difficult, fantastic, dangerous, Excellent. stressful. Stressful, uh huh. What else? Do you remember any other adjective that we, that we studied yesterday? Challenging. Challenging, good. Boring, easy. Boring, easy, good, excellent. And we were creating sentences, right? We were creating sentences with this type of adjectives. And in this one, right, we were creating sentences with the B, right, the B, the adjective. And we were using the adjective plus the noun, right? We were using the adjective plus the noun. And we were completing different exercises like this ones, right? So in order to continue practicing, we are going to go over this exercise, okay? We are here, seven people, we are here. Excellent. Let me see, hello, how are you? Vanessa, it's here, Sarai, it's here. Okay, excellent. So I am going to give you I am going to give you one profession and we are going to write it right here. And what you are going to do is that you are going to create a sentence with the profession that I am going to give you, okay? So for example, here we have boring musician. What is a sentence that you can create with boring musician? Uh -huh. Similar to the examples that we did yesterday. A musician's job is boring. A musician's job is boring, you say. What is the other form? A musician has a boring job. Excellent, very good. 
Excellent, because that's what we were doing yesterday. I am going to give you another profession and I need you to create the sentence, okay? Pero la tienen que escribir ahí en su cuaderno, su agenda, su papelito, su página, lo que sea que tengan ahí, en ambas formas, okay? Ready? Yes? ¿Estamos listos? Yes. A ver, yes. muest a ver, espérame. muéstrenme todas ahí en qué lo van a anotar. Show me your notebook, your agenda, your paper, anything that you have for writing. Good, very good. Yeah, Wendy is, is setting herself, don't worry. Wendy se nos está ubicando ahí. Thank you, excellent. So I am going to give you the profession and you have to write the two forms of the sentence, okay? Here we go. And we go with cashier. Write the two forms. And when you have them, tell me, I have it, teacher. Cuando ya las tengan las dos, me dicen, ya las tengo. And you read them. Let me know when you have them. Cashier. Ya lo tengo. Okay, tell me, read them. A cashier's job is easy. Uh -huh. A cashier has an easy job. A cashier has an easy job. Very good. Now, let's go with the next one. I am going to go with the next form. Are you ready for the next one? Dangerous. Yes. And we have firemen. Go ahead, fireman. Write it. And when you finish and you have it, tell me, I have it, teacher. Firemen. Do you have it? Okay, you have it. Let's see. A fireman is dangerous job. A fireman has is has a dangerous a dangerous is job. fireman job okay a fireman has a dangerous job okay exactly like this one aquí como cuando tenemos eh, the police officer okay mm -hmm. let me see here aquí en el ejemplo tenemos a police officer aquí vamos a cambiar y vamos a poner a fireman a fireman Okay, a fireman has a dangerous job. What is going to be the other form? Um, a fireman is, is dangerous work. Okay, in this case you say a fireman's job is? It's dangerous. It's dangerous, very good job. Okay, good, it's good. Okay, así aprendemos. Exciting. The next one, the next profession is teacher. Go ahead, write the sentences. Hello, Ivan. Hello. It's nice to see you. We are creating sentences, Ivan. Similar to the examples that we have here. You have to create the two forms of the sentences, one with the apostrophe and one with has. And the sentence is exciting, okay. teacher. Okay, Adela, go ahead. Uh, a teacher joy is ex sentencing. Exciting, uh-huh. Exciting, okay. A teacher has 
and Xari Joy. Excellent, very good job, very good job. The next one, difficult. Let's go with secretary. When you have it, tell me, I have it, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. A secretary, a secretary job is a, is a difficult. Uh -huh. A secretary has difficult job. A difficult job. Very good. Very good, Sarai. Let's go with the last one. A student. <laughs> For a student. Okay, how are you going to complete the sentence with the students? It's stressful. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Who has it? ¿Quién la tiene? Um, for example, a student's job is stressful. Uh -huh. And the um, other form? A student has a stressful job. Excellent. Very good job, Ivan. Excellent job. So you see, it was not that complicated to create sentences. Now, I am going to go one by one, and you have to tell me an original sentence, okay? Todos me van a decir una oración de manera original usando un trabajo y un adjetivo, okay? So, let's see. We are going to start with Crisia. Can you give me one original example? Uh, a a what? I cannot listen to you. Maybe it's the microphone. Hola. Yeah, I can listen to you now. A flight attendant jobs. A flight attendant attendance is fantastic. A flight attendance job. A flight attendant job is fantastic. Excellent. A flight attendance job is fantastic. Crisia, who is the next one? ¿Quién sigue? Wendy, creo que por ahí. Okay, okay. Wendy, go ahead. Good night. Um, Hello. A accountant has a um, stressful job. An accountant has a stressful job. Good. Who's next, Wendy? Ivan. Um, Ivan, no, no, no. go ahead. An original sentence. Um, a mathematics teacher's job <laughs> is difficult. A mathematics teacher's job is difficult. And... Yeah, for sure it is. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, um, let me see. Uh -huh. Wendy? No, Wendy did it already. Another one. Um, Sarai. Sarai, go ahead. An actor job is interesting. An actor's job is interesting, right? An actor's job is interesting. Who's next? Um, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, go ahead. A nurse has an exciting job. A nurse has an exciting job. Good. Who's next, Jocelyn? Uh, Vanessa. 
Vanessa, go ahead. How do you say pronunciation architect? Architect. Architect. Architect's job is stressful. An architect's job is stressful. Yes, it's true. Let's see. Who's next? Who's next? Ruth. Ruth. Yeah, Ruth is here. Yes. Yes. Uh, and the direction, the direction, the direction. The what? Sorry. No. Uh, and the reception. Ah, the receptionist. Receptionist. Job is difficult. A uh, receptionist job is difficult. Yes, it is. Good. Who's next? <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> you are going to say administrador because you changed your name today. Why? <laughs> Porque nos andamos cambiando los nombres ahora. Crisia. <laughs> no, Crisia was the first one. Mm. Claudita. <laughs> Claudia. Claudia. <laughs> oh, but I think she's frozen. Claudita, <laughs> hello. Jocelyn, Wendy. No, Jocelyn already passed. Sarai? Yeah, pero es que Claudia, se nos quedó con gente, se nos quedó congelada. Okay, good. So when, when, when she comes back, we're going to, to continue, right? There you go. Okay, so I think it was Claudia. Claudia, but she's frozen. Let it go, let it go. She's frozen right now. Let's continue. I am going to continue sharing the screen here. Thank you very much for your original sentences. And that is the best part of everything because now you manage how to create them. I have here two little readings, right? That we are going to uh, practice. I have, what is the name of the first person in the reading? Lisa Parker. Lisa. Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker. What is her profession? A waitress. Waitress. A waitress. A waitress. A waitress. Good. What is the name of the second person in the reading? John Blue. John Blue. John Blue. What is his profession? Play video games. It's a video game tester. A video game tester. So I need one volunteer to read about Lisa Parker. Me teacher. Go ahead, Ivan, please. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, mm -hmm. but she's really an actress during the day. She auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Exactly like that. Very good. So we have here her schedule, her schedule, right? That's the that's the pronunciation of it. Her schedule, right? Okay, sure. Schedule is horario, right? Her schedule is difficult, right? She has two jobs. She works, right? Y muy bien que Iván hace mucho énfasis en la pronunciación de la tercera persona eh, singular. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, right, durante el día, during the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Plays son obras de teatro, okay, no son juegos. Obras de teatro and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot. She's tired, it's like, she's tired a lot. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> another day. So she works a lot and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Okay, because she wants to be an actress. What about John Blue? I need another volunteer. Thank you, Ivan, for the first one. Me. Go Me. ahead, Wendy. Okay, Wendy and Sarai is going to be for the next reading. I have four, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Lot of teenagers want John, John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? 
Never done, almost, always wins. Okay, very good. It says lots of teenagers, muchos adolescentes, right? Lots of teenagers want John's blues job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it, right? Y le pagan and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Good. New words or new vocabulary here? Alguna nueva palabra? Nuevo vocabulario que no sepamos? No? Tester for a big... Tester. Tester is uh, the one who tries the games, right? El que prueba los videojuegos. Tester mm -hmm. es el que los prueba, right? And for a big video game company. He is a video game tester. Es un probador de videojuegos. Para una compañía de videojuegos mm -hmm. muy, muy grande. For a big video game company. Any other question? No? The rest? It's cool? Should we go with the next one? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Let's go with the next one. Sarai, help me with the next one. Becky Peck. Becky Peck. Go ahead, Sarai. Okay. Uh, Becky Peck was in the park every day for many hours. Cry of shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She ha she walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes tw 20, 20, zero? 20, yes. 20. Tw 20 dogs to the park at on time. Okay, good. So it says Becky, <laughs> Becky Peck. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine. Llueva o truene o relampague. O haga sol. Right. Rain or shine. She has to go out. Becky is a professional dog walker. Did you imagine that this profession existed? ¿Se imaginaron que existía esta profesión? No. No, no right? No. No. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, for sure. We have it in El Salvador, but they don't pay for it, right? You take the dog. You take Kaiser for free. <laughs> but uh, in, in the United States and in many other countries, and here in El Salvador too, now it's a profession here. Uh, you ask for people uh, if they want you to take their dogs out, and then you just go for a walk, right? La diferencia entre esos perritos y los de aquí El Salvador, it's like they don't fight. Here in El Salvador, it's like... What in another <laughs> and the poor dog walker will be like, ah, no, no, lo vuelvo a sacar. <laughs> Mucho pelea. <laughs> so imagine she takes 20 dogs at the same time. And I cannot take Kiara out because she's a very messy. Okay. Yo solo una tengo y ni siquiera la puedo sacar a pasear. Because she's very <laughs> crazy. So uh, Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. And sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Ooh. And who is going to read about Carlos Ruiz? I need the last volunteer. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Carlos, Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plays le lessons, great homework, helps with after school activity. And of course, he teaches his salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Excellent job, very good job. So Carlos Ruiz is a busy man, right? Busy, no, it's a busy oh, man. Busy. He busy. plans lessons. Great homework and helps with after school activities. And of course, he teaches, teaches, right? Teaches in the case of uh, learning or education, you say, I teach, he teaches. But if you tell me, see sí, teacher, pero enseñar, enseñar es show. 
No, show, it's like when you have an object, show me that. Okay, I am showing you this, but teach in this case is enseñar, enseñar, like what I am, what I am doing right now, right? I teach, right? He teaches, in this case, this verb, right? And here we have different activities followed by a comma, okay? Tienen una serie de actividades antes de terminar la oración. He plans lessons, great homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches, right? You have to form the sentence with all the activities. And then you continue. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he is happy. Okay? What was the name of the first person? Oh, the first reading that we had, what was the name of the person? Lisa. Lisa what? Um, I, <laughs> I don't remember the... Uh, the last name. Um, the last name, exactly. Um, Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker. What about the second one? John Blue. Blue. John, Blue. John Blue. Number three? Becky. 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 Betty, Betty, I'm a tener Nicolás aquí también. No, Becky Peck, right? Becky Peck. And the last one? Carlos, Carlos Ruiz. Ah, because that's very Salvadorian, right? You remember. Yes. Carlos Ruiz. Oh, hello, Mr. Carlos Ruiz. Yeah, it's very Salvadorian. What was the first profession? Waitress. An actress and a waitress. An actress and a waitress. The second one? Game video. Video game tester, right? Video game tester. You have it right here. Aquí lo tienen. Video game tester. And number three? Professional dog. Professional dog? Walker. Walk. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Una palabra hace la diferencia. Professional dog. <laughs> Pfizer, I don't corbata. He's a professional dog, you say. And the last one, what was the last profession? Teacher. He's a teacher, teacher right? He was a teacher. Good. Now, I am going to show you four different sentences, and you are going to tell me which person mentions each of them. After I win, I take a break. Who do you think says this? Who do you think expresses that sentence? Lisa Parker. Mm. Becky Peck. No. Uh, who is the, <laughs> the play? Uh -huh. Video, Video tester? play tester. Video game tester. What is the name? Um, it's a color. John Blue. Johnny Blue. John Blue. <laughs> John Blue. John Blue. <laughs> okay, John yeah, Blue, Johnny, Johnny Bravo. Bravo. Johnny Bravo, right? After I win, I take a break, right? Remember that the only one that plays here is John Blue, right? John Blue. And he says, after I win, I take a break. I take a break. Cada vez que gano, me tomo un descanso. Right here, relaxes. The second sentence, it says, I don't Becky. usually work in the summer. Becky, Becky. Carlos Ruiz. Why Carlos Ruiz? Carlos Ruiz is a teacher. Because teacher. he's a teacher, right? In the United States, teachers don't work in the summer. Here in El Salvador, yes, oh, no. we work all the year. No, 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 no. no right? <laughs> Yeah, here in El Salvador, we work every single day, yeah. right? In summer, in winter, in autumn, anything. Yeah, ayer estuvimos en clase bajo una gran tormenta. Right? We were working here, very happy, <laughs> right? Ya sentía que me caí un rayo. <laughs> but we were working, right? And we were learning. But I don't usually work in the summer. In this case, the teachers in the United States don't work in the summer. The next one, it says, the restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker. Why? 
she's a waitress. Because she's a waitress, right? And the last one, it says, after work, my feet and arms are tired. Becky Peck. Why? But, Becky Peck. A professional walker. She's a professional dog walker, right? Dog walker. She's a professional dog walker. And that's why, for sure, she is very tired because, Bye. I mean, she works all the day, right? And she walks the dogs every single day. So we are going to go over the platform a little bit. Let me just open it. And I am going to go over this one. Okay. Let me just finish something here. And we're going to go over the platform. We're going to check some things. And give me one second. I need to open everything. Okay. Here. Because I am not going to show you the answers of everything. Okay, okay, and okay. So far, we should have finished sections one, two, and three in the platform. Yes or no? Okay. Yes. Okay, most yes. of you already finished all the platform, and that's fantastic. Let me just show you here. I am going to go on this one, okay? So, if we go here, and if we studied the different sections in the platform, we can say section one, done, right? La podemos poner como marcada, chequeada, complete, right? Section two, the same. Section three, the same. But what about the midterm exams, right? And in these ones, I am going to stop a little bit on the different questions for us to practice what we have studied so far, okay? And we're going to go in the first one here. In the first one, the first exercise that you have in the platform, you have a listening, right? And for this listening, you have to choose the correct answers on it, right? You have to choose the correct answers according to what you are going to listen. Let's listen to the audio right now. And I need you to pay attention for you to give me the correct answers. What are the questions? There are, and you have to tell me the number of bedrooms. There are some chairs in that. And you have to tell me the place. And Julie needs a what for the kitchen. Pay attention to the sentences and let me know. Me avisan si escuchan el audio. One, I really love it. Can you listen to the audio? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Let's start. One, I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Okay, how many bedrooms do you have in the house? Three. Three, three right? Three. There are three bedrooms. Good. Three bedrooms. There are some chairs where? Living room. Living room. In the living room. Good. Julia needs what? Microwave oven. A microwave okay. oven for the kitchen, right? And then you click on submit. And for sure, you are going to have your sentences correct. In the next exercise, in this one, we need to complete the conversations. And you are going to help me to do this. I did the first one for you. And it says, your apartment building, an elevator. And it says, your apartment building, for sure, you are talking about it. Okay. 
So you have to use does for this one. And for sure, if you use does at the beginning of the sentence, you are not going to change the verb that you are going to use here. So for sure you use have. What about the next one? Let's see. And I am going to change the other ones. Just give me one second. I'm going to share it again. Here we go. Okay, it says, does your apartment building have an elevator? Yes, it does. 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 Because you are asking the question with does, for sure. In the answer, you are going to have does. Yes. The next one. Uh, Wendy, can you help me with this one? Do the, do, the, do the bedrooms have closets? Do the bedrooms have closets, right? Because you have a plural form and for sure you are going to have the normal form of the verb. Do the bedrooms have closets? Is if the question is with do, how are you going to answer? What is the negative for do? Don't. 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 don't right? No, they don't. don't and then you click on submit and for sure you have your correct answer. On the next one, you have, in this case, right? And I did this once and I left them there. The problem with this type of sentences is in some cases the apostrophes or the spaces, ¿ok? No sé a cuántos de ustedes les dio problema el hecho de marcar el apóstrofe o el espacio en la oración. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sí. when it says yes. me, me, me. Sí. It is very complicated because it needs to be the correct apostrophe, right? Tenemos que utilizar el apóstrofe correcto. Tenemos que utilizar los espacios correctos. Y no comernos ninguna letra, okay? Ni ninguna letra, ni ninguna palabra. So, in this one, the, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. The sentence was, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. In the next one, no pictures, the hall there are in. There are no, there are there no, are no pictures, pictures in, in, in the hall. In the hall. <laughs> and the last one, in there aren't any the curtains dining room. There, there aren't, aren't any, any curtains, curtains in the dining, in the dining room. room. So for these ones, we need to be very careful, right? With the specific a spelling that we use and the different forms of the apostrophes. We need to be very careful. On the next one, let's see. Okay, I'm going to change them because I have the answers here and in this one. Here, I have A works in a hospital. Oh, or, no. No. Are you sure? Isn't nurse. it the pilot? No. <laughs> a nurse works in a hospital. A nurse, right? A nurse works in a hospital. What about the next one? Talks to people at the hotel. A receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. Sits all day. Judge. A judge, right? The judge sits all day, right? The judge sits all day. Good. So, and in this one, you click on submit, and for sure, all of them were going to be correct. On the next one, you go with the next exercise. Here. Here we only have three questions. And it says, I work at a restaurant. You have three options. How do they like their jobs? Where do you work? Or what does he do? What is the correct option? Where, Where, do, you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Right? Because it is a first person question. Where do you work? He is a firefighter. What is the correct question for this one? He is a firefighter. What does, what does he do? What does he do, right? Because it's he, he, right? And the last one, they hate their jobs. 
How do they like her? How do they like their jobs, right? Because in this case, we are asking for how fine they are with the jobs, right? How do they like their jobs? And for sure, you click on submit and it was going to be correct. And what about the last exercise that we have here? Let's go with the last one. And in this one, I am going to show you here. And we just did this exercise, okay? Lo acabamos de hacer. So it's not going to be very difficult for you. Let me just share it. Ahorita se los comparto. Here we go. Can you see it? And it says, a singer, a singer, what will be the correct form for us to complete the sentence? Has an exciting job. Why has an exciting job? Why? Because the next words start with a letter. Vowel. A vowel, right? A vowel. Because the next That's word it. starts with a vowel, right? A singer has an exciting job. And it says, I disagree. No, no, no. Yo no estoy de acuerdo. I think a singer's job... It's boring. It's boring, right? I think a singer's job is boring. And it says, a flight attendant has a stressful job. Has a stressful A flight attendant has a stressful job. And it says, I agree. I agree. It's not okay, si en la primera decimos a fly attendant has a stressful job, si tiene un trabajo estresante, y decimos sí, estoy de acuerdo. It, it is stressful. It is stressful, right? It is stressful. The next one, you have a cashier's job. And read the next one first, okay? Vamos a leer la siguiente antes de contestar la primera. I disagree. A cashier. And we have only difficult here. What do you think is the first one? It's easy, right? A cashier's job is easy. I disagree. A cashier has a difficult job. Okay? You click on submit and for sure you are going to have all your points ready. So you are ready to go over next section that is section number four, right? In section number four, we are going to start one of the last topics that we are going to cover, okay? Ahorita vamos en la clase 10, okay? Uh, cuatro clases más and we're done. And then exams, exams, exams. <laughs> we're going to have exams here at the end. Okay, it's not like I catch you, I pass el módulo. No, we have an exam at the end. Who's like what? Sí, hacemos una presentación oral al final del módulo. Oh my God! You see? <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, in the next section, we are going to talk about what. Imagine the name of the section is broccoli is good for you. What do you think the next section is about? About the food about food right food. okay let's just go over here just let's stop the presentation and for sure here we were doing teamwork time because we were working in the midterm exams el que no haya hecho los exámenes ahora ojalá haya tomado notas porque it's going to be easy for you to finish the exam <laughs> yeah you did it so if you did it that's fantastic right for tomorrow we are going to have two homework, okay? We haven't finished the class, but I am going to give you the homework now, okay? Antes de que se nos olvide, mejor le doy la tarea, ya. For the next class, we are going to investigate vocabulary about food, right? I know that you might have some vocabulary about food, right? We are going to study, and you are going to investigate food vocabulary. But I am going to give you a second homework. I need you to investigate about 
uncountable nouns and also about countable nouns, right? Uncountable and countable nouns. And you are going to tell me, teacher, but what are those, right? ¿Qué serían esos en español? Uncountable and countable. Contables y no contables. Ajá, contables y no contables. So, I need you to investigate about that for the next class. That will be the homework, ¿ok? Y se las doy ya antes de que me digan, ay, teacher, al final de la tarea y no alcancé a oír. No, because you are going to use it for the next topic. And what is it going to be the next topic? As I told you, it is going to be about food, ¿ok? And when we talk about food, right? When we talk about food, I have two main questions for you. Can you cook? And what is your favorite restaurant? And for this one, I am going to stop sharing for a moment. Can you cook? And what is your favorite restaurant? The first question, Ruth, can you cook? Yes. Yes. What is Ruth's best dish? ¿Cuál es el mejor platillo que Ruth cocina? No. <laughs> Don't tell me boiling water, okay? Chicken and potatoes. Chicken and potatoes, right? Chicken and potatoes. And potato. Fried or in soup? Fried. Fried. Fried, <laughs> right? Good, very good. So, chicken and fries. But they are not from Chicken Campero, right? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I prepare a no. chicken campero. Mm -hmm. so like, I just take the phone, tick, 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 hello, hello, right, and it's done, right? No, chicken and fries. Adela, what? Okay, the first question Can you cook? Más o menos, how do you say más o menos? So, 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 so. so. <laughs> what is your best dish? Que el que diga, ese me sale y me sale bien. What is that one? Um, Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay. Coca-Cola. Ah, ah, okay. okay. So, chicken in Coca-Cola. Okay, because if you say, like, what is your best dish? Coca-Cola, you say. <laughs> you go to the store. Niña Mari, give me one Coke. <laughs> so, so like, Niña Mari, uh, do you have Cokes? Yeah, give me one Fanta, they say. <laughs> so okay, so chicken and Coke, that's good. Jocelyn, can you cook? Yes. What is Jocelyn's best dish? Uh, I usually put uh, arroz frito. Fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice. Oh, that's Chinese, right? Fried rice. Yes. <laughs> mm. But you don't go. You don't with call the restaurant. Vegetable. Ah, with vegetables. You don't no, call the, no. the, the Chinese <laughs> restaurant, right? Ah, and then, then you just get it. <laughs> Wendy, what? Uh, can you cook, Wendy? Yes, I can. Okay, what is Wendy's special dish? Sea full and shrimp. Shrimps. 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 Okay, seafood and shrimps. So, all the yes. mariscas for you? Yes, nice. They are easy, yes. okay? So, Aniceto Molina will be very happy with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, seafood, that's good. Claudita, yes. can you cook? Yes. <laughs> what is Claudia's best dish? Um, chicken and Christmas. Oh, Christmas chicken. <gasps> That's uh -huh. cool. And it's difficult to make. Yeah. My God, that is very complicated. <laughs> yeah, that you have to put this and this and this and the chocolate and the pills and everything. Ah, no, sorry. The pills and it's like this. <laughs> no. No, no, it doesn't take. Well, I have seen that they put some beer on the chicken. I mean, I don't know for yes. the flavor or something. Uh, yeah. Some people put it inside, but that's not the, the thing. So, but, yeah, but chicken, Christmas chicken, it's a very difficult dish. Wow, yes. it's good. Very good. Excellent. 
So for Christmas, we're going to visit Claudita to try, right? Yes. Vanessa, can you cook? Yes, I can. What is your best dish? Chicken. 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 All the yeah. types of chicken. And so. Yeah, soup. So, hey, that's my favorite soup. dish. That's my favorite dish in the world. Chicken soup. I love it. Right? Yo siempre le digo a mi mami, yo salgo barata. Mi plato favorito, <laughs> la sopa de I really love it. It's chicken soup. Good. Let's see. Crisia, can you cook? Yes, I can. What is your best dish? My best dish is soups. Soups. Any special soup? Chicken or res? What do you say res? Beef. A beef. Beef soup. Hey, good. Sí. That's another one that it's complicated. Good. Mr. Ivan, can you cook? Yes, I can. What is the best dish that you can cook? Maruchan. Hey, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, go. <laughs> so like, Oh, and, that's it. <laughs> and then you put that okay lemon and salt done <laughs> okay and cheese only, only water and you put only, only water. water well I don't know you but I don't really like that one I don't like maruchan soup I don't know why but I don't like it and some people love it I mean and they say like mm, special thing <laughs> and it depends on how you cook it. But you see, Ivan's specialty is the soup. And Sarai, can you cook? Yes. yes what is yes. your best dish? Um, uh, French, French fish. Uh, fried fish. Fried fish. Fried fish. Yes, I really love fried fish, fried fish. but when I cook it. If, if another person cooks it, it's difficult for me to eat it. So we are going to go over the last exercise of the night. And it is related to what I am asking you. As I told you that we were going to be talking about, about food. I am going to leave you this last exercise. It says, I love, I like, I don't like, I hate, do you like? And we complete the questions. Talking about food, I can tell you that I love chicken soup. I love it, right? Lo podría comer desayuno, almuerzo, cena. I love it. I like, it's like, yeah, me lo como, no me muero. It's okay. I like it. I don't like, it's like, mm, no, no, thank you, right? I don't really like it. I hate, it's something that you don't eat at all, okay? We're going to work on the first four, okay? Tell me one thing that you love about food, one thing that you like, one thing that you don't like, one thing that you hate, and that's it. I am going to give you one example. I love chicken soup. I like pupusas. I don't like ice cream. I hate pacayas. Yes. What about your example? Okay. I don't I like I don't like ice cream. And many people love ice cream. Me too. No. They say like helado, que rico yes. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know why, but I don't like it. Right? So think about your examples and tell me, I love, I like, I don't like, and I hate. Pacayas, I hate them with all my heart. And the isote flower, I don't like it. I mean, the isote flower, it's our national symbol. Don't eat the national symbols, okay? Don't eat the national symbols, okay? Who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar a darme sus cuatro frases? Crisia, go ahead. Hey, I cannot listen to you. Hola. Yeah, I can listen to you now. I love pupusas. I like chicken. I don't like... 
Flower is also is is other flower is other flower. I hate You hate papayas. My team. <laughs> <laughs> Who continues? Thank you, Crisia. Okay, Claudita, go ahead. I love uh, chicken. Uh -huh. I like um, beans. Beans? Ah, me too. <laughs> I don't like uh, pacayas. <laughs> uh, I hate whiskey. <laughs> Whiskey, okay, you hate, yeah, whiskey, yeah. whiskey is one eh, vegetable, yeah, yo, yo lo llamo el eh, vegetable, porque mm -hmm. como, it's just whiskey, I mean, it doesn't have flavor or anything, but yeah, it's good, right, whiskey, thank you very much, Claudita, who's, who's next? ¿Quién sigue? No. Okay, go ahead. I love um, chicken. Uh -huh. I like pupusa. I don't like pacaya. I hate fish. Fish. Really? You hate fish? Okay. Never, never. Okay, and when you go to El Mahawal, chicken. Um, carne. <laughs> meat. <laughs> meat. <laughs> okay, good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Let's continue. Who's next? Meat teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. No cross meat. Okay. I like burgers. I do not like pacayas. I hate ¿cómo se dice? Hígado, liver. 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 Me too. I hate it. I don't like it. Okay. Yeah, I like me. No. Thank you. Wendy, go ahead. I love pupusas. I like uh, chicken. I don't like um, milk. I hate chocolate. You don't like meat? Uh, milk? Never, never. <laughs> Okay, okay, but you are not, uh, what is the name of this thing, intolerante a la lactosa? Yes, it's that ah, so you are lactose intolerant, intolerant so that's yes. why. Okay, yes. yeah, that's a reason, a good reason yes. for you not to make. <laughs> okay, and you hate chufles. Yeah. Yes. 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 I don't like chocolate. Yes. 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 Then I hate white beans. You hate white beans? Ah, yeah. I, I kind of dislike them too. But you don't like seafood. So, and Wendy's specialty is seafood. Así, <laughs> ¿verdad? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Así quedé, yo sé. <laughs> right. you, you don't like seafood any type fish and, and all the other animals no no okay all the other animals that move okay good perfect let's continue uh, Ruth go ahead uh, I love sushi uh -huh. I like pizza uh -huh. I don't you like the uh, flower 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 huh I love pacayas. I hate, I hate. I hate pacayas. Okay, good. Do you like chicken? I love chicken. Good, I love chicken. That's a good question for tomorrow. Let's see. <laughs> Jocelyn. I love potato chip. Uh -huh. I like seafood. I don't like plum. Plums, no, uh -huh. uh, ciruela. ciruelas, uh -huh. and I hate pacayas. You hate pacayas. Hey, we are the pacaya haters team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who likes pacayas, by the way? ¿A quién le gustan? ¿Alguien que las defienda? 
Me? <laughs> okay, you like papaya. Me? me? Really? Yes. Okay, Vanessa, go ahead. Tell me your, your phrase. Mm, I love chicken. Uh -huh. I like... I like pupusas. You like pupusas? Uh -huh. I don't like... Mm, I don't like <laughs> so I don't like uh, so you say I do not like any specific food I love everything you say. and I hate I, I hate garlic oh you hate garlic, garlic. Uh, what about the garlic bread yeah. <laughs> the pizza hut no no uh, good so the garlic bread mm -mm. no Okay, good, very good. Let me see. Who am I missing? ¿Quién me falta? Saraí? No, you participated already. Okay, who am I missing? ¿Me falta alguien? ¿Se me queda alguien? No, right? No, okay. So, this is what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I know tomorrow you are going to have more vocabulary because you are going to investigate more things about food and you are going to discover other things that you don't like, right? So uh, I am going to continue with this tomorrow. Remember the homework because we are going to use it, okay? Have a beautiful night, my dear students. That's all for today. And I am going to see you tomorrow with another class. Have a beautiful night, go and rest a lot. And I am going to see you tomorrow to continue talking about food. Okay, <clears throat> spoiler. Eat dinner before, okay? Nadie me venga a la clase sin comer cena porque si no van a estar ahí, oh, food and all these things and the vocabulary and everything, and you're going to be very hungry. So please eat dinner before you come to the class. See you tomorrow, my dear students. Thank Have a nice night. Bye. 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 Bye.